Welcome back. We have breaking news in the disappearance of little Avian Lewis. Cops in Roanoke, Virginia say signs indicate the child is no longer alive. Sad report, Mrs. this cute little guy. Heartbreaking, to be exact. We've learned now cops are looking into the stepfather's story. The Lavian's family has uh, said this never really added up from the beginning, and cops say they don't think there was a kidnapping. We'll clear all this up for you. There it is as we see uh, this cute little guy. Authorities believe he's no longer with us. Joining us to talk about it, welcome back. Former police detective Steve Cardi, and also back with us, Michelle Sagona, investigative journalist. And always you can check out updates on these stories, michellesagona.com. Michelle, why do authorities uh, bring the sad news that they don't believe the Lavion is alive? Well, apparently, Mike, uh, there was just a press conference about 20 minutes ago, and they came out and they said that they believe, possibly, that Avion was actually dead uh, before this alleged abduction, and they are not working this case as an abduction anymore at this point. Uh, they have, uh, they, you know, of course, fr from the beginning of the investigation, uh, they've raised helicopters, they set up checkpoints, they were passing out questionnaires to residents all throughout the neighborhood. Uh, they've asked to search their homes. Uh, and folks have been complying and they've been coming forward uh, with information. The stepfather has spoken out right. uh, to a few local networks as well. Let's listen to that. We This again, the stepfather, and Michelle, correct me if I go wrong here on, on his story, but this is the way he told it, I believe, that there were some sus three suspicious guys hanging around the apartment. Uh, they knocked at the door. Next thing you know, he gets knocked unconscious. He comes to, four-year-old daughter is tied up, bound, two other little kids, not even messed with at all and two-year-old Avion had been taken. Is that the way it goes, Michelle? That is correct, okay. and 911 was called at 6.41 p.m. Okay, well, let's listen. They said, this is the stepfather, Brandon Lockett, and his story now under question. Let's listen. You no, know, I heard a knock at the door. I went to the back door, and all I remember was boom. That's all I remember. When I came, when I came to, my wife was standing over me, and my son was, you know what I'm saying, he was crying. And my daughter, she was gagged upstairs in her room. All right, uh, Steve Cardian, as you watch this and you've studied this as it unfolds, have you been suspicious of his story all along? Absolutely. Prior to air, Mike, I wrote down some notes after doing research, and I said, you know, he was knocked out, bound and gag. Uh, you don't get knocked out unconscious and have, have the time with the injuries he had to ransack the house, bound his, his ch children, and so on and so forth. The, the ransom note being written in the house, the insignificant, in, insignificant amount that was listed on the ransom note, there were just too many red flags in this to indicate there was anything uh, other than something happened within that family. All right. And, and Steve, as you look at this, one of the questions I think from the outset, why would you take or why would an abductor take a two-year-old and leave a four-year-old who's probably going to remember more and be more apt to be a witness against you? Yeah, and we see kidnappings uh, across the board, Mike. We see female, young children, young females that are kidnapped well, well before uh, male, male children. Mm. One last thing, Michelle, as we look at the family dynamic, uh, who is the father of little Avian? Who's the biological father? Do we know that? Well, this is that's a very interesting point, and that's something that I have asked investigators about, but they will not comment on Avian's real father for some mm -hmm. reason. And so they have had a lot of information early on. They have been extremely tight-lipped on a lot of things uh, that would definitely help find a child who is missing, an active Amber Alert, for instance, his medical condition. They wouldn't really comment a lot on that. And so I think that they've had some, obviously, some indications of this possibly early on, but still went with the Amber mm. Alert just in case. Okay. Again, the sad news that uh, authorities do not believe little Avion is still alive. Do not even believe there was an abduction. We'll continue to follow it. Michelle, Steve, uh, thanks so much, you guys.